Yeah, we're just going back to do our fifth season um, of Leverage. And we've also just completed our second convention. So mm. that's been amazing to see the fan presence from all over, not even just Europe, but people came from all over the world to that convention in, um, in December. And there's just such a brilliant fan base that are all doing all kinds of role playing online and um, doing their own heists. And they've all picked, you know, because we all have an, all the characters in the show have an archetype. There's the hitter, the grifter, the mastermind, the hacker, and the thief. And so all the fans have got their different archetypes, and that they and they relate to each other in character. I mean, it's been it's amazing. And how do you think the show has changed and evolved over the four years so far? It's been through so many changes. I mean, the first season, I really loved it. I loved the whole concept of that all the characters were in, worked in isolation and they were all kind of quite damaged characters and they were all really untrusting and um, untrustworthy. And then I think it's been actually a nice slow build in terms of how they've started to function as a group and a team and, um, and the levels and how the relationships have developed. And, you know, you... you Oh, the long-running drama, you've got you know, two things. You have to keep the stories interesting and the plots interesting, and you've got to keep the character development interesting, and hopefully we're still managing to do that. And a lot of Sophie's history is sort of shrouded in mystery as well. So, I mean, do you have your own theories and ideas about her past? Yeah, I mean, I'm quite big on backstory. I remember on Coupling, I was the only um, character that got my uh, backstory cleared mm. by um, Stephen Moffat. And... Uh, and um, I do have a backstory that I talked about on um, on Leverage, and then suddenly John Rogers, the showrunner, threw a curveball at me, and um, there's an episode in this season that's launching the King George job, where something comes out about Sophie's past in the UK that was um, a bit of a surprise. And how is it for you as well, working with an ensemble cast? I mean, have you grown closer over the years? Yeah, I mean, I'm used to being an ensemble because obviously, you know, Coupling was an ensemble, and that was a really good experience for me. Um, in Leverage, we all get on, we're really lucky, we get on really, really well. And I think a lot of the relationships between the actors have informed the relationships on camera as well. Like, um, there are certain dynamics, like Beth, who plays Parker, and I have a sort of big sister, little sister rapport, which I think is coming out through the season. Um, Tim and I really are best friends, and I think that the relationship between Nate and Sophie um, has, gets, is, is, becomes more and more about mutual respect and getting one another and um, Christian Kane who plays Elliot is has very much like a, a kind of sibling relationship with with Beth they're always like goofing around on set and doing practical jokes and having a laugh and so yeah, the relationships definitely do inform the characters at some point I think. Is it fun as well playing a role with such variety because in some moments Sophie can be quite cool and then the next you're playing it for laughs? Yeah I, I think one of my biggest fears about doing the show in, the Amer in America was getting bored mm. and um, you know, I've never done anything, you know, obviously coupling was the longest thing I've ever done and our seasons were really short and also I don't think there's anything about Jane that could have ever got boring. But um, I was worried about getting bored on a long running US show and I think because of the, um, you know, concept of it always being in a new environment every week and playing different characters and doing different accents and having amazing costumes and um, learning different technology and having to do the odd stunt here and there. It's kept it really interesting, kept, keeps it fresh and, um, and keeps me interested. And I think that's the most important thing. As soon as you start to become, um, you know, sort of dread going into work and saying what time was the shot fired, um, then it's a sort of kiss of death for the fans as well, I think. But we all still love it, so I'm really looking forward to starting um, the fifth season.